This video will show our technique for kidney transplant anastomosis. The technique starts by creating an extra cycle, some mucosal tunnel, we spatulate the ureter and use a stent and then we bury the distal part of the ureter with a used stitch. This shows how the, the true sort tunnel is created and it should be of sufficient length to avoid reflux. We approach the bladder on the lateral wall on the posterior and superior part. We keep the ureter well vascularized and do a non tension suture. This shows the, the trusso tunnel being developed at the proximal and distal ends of it, the bladder mucosa can be seen popping whilst the bladder is moderately filled with saline to facilitate dissection. Once the tunnel is created, the ureter is passed through it, creating a non-refluxing mechanism. The ureter is shortened if necessary and then spatulated to increase the anastomotic area. Finally, it is stented usually with a JJ stent. A standard JJ stand is put in place. We control with one finger at the level of the transplanted kidney pelvis that the proximal part of the stand gets in place safely. The anastomosis is done with photo sutures, usually polyglycolic acid or polydioxanone. One suture is taken at the proximal end of the spatulation and joined to the bladder mucosa. Then we take the U stitch that takes the distal end of the ureter inside the bladder lumen. The anastomosis is completed with two lateral sutures and finally the detrusor muscle is approximated. 